Hello grade 4 natural science. Today we are learning material around us, natural water cycle with Miss Team Vega. What are our learning outcomes? The first one would be to describe how water evaporates, condenses, freezes and melts in the water cycle. The second one would be to demonstrate how water evaporates, condenses, freezes, and melts in a water cycle. Key questions to ask ourselves today before we start the lesson. How does water vapor um, is produced in a, within a water cycle? How does water condenses in the, in the water cycle? How does water freezes within the water cycle and how does water melt within the water cycle? Let's ask ourselves for a minute. What is a water cycle? A water cycle refers to how water changes from one state to another in a cycle that takes place in our whole world. In a cycle, it has a set of events, things, events are things that happen and keep on repeating in the same order. As it is, looking at the water cycle, just to be brief, before we actually learn it, is water from the ocean itself turns into steam. And that is gas state and it's a process of evaporation. And the water turns into clouds, as you can see, liquids in the sky. And when the, it gets, the droplets get too, too heavy, the clouds start from condensation. It starts to want to um, let go of the rain, which is precipitation. And when that rain comes through down the, uh, the mountains by rivers and streams, it comes back to the ocean and starts the whole cycle again. Through vapor, uh, vapor, the first sign is evaporation into clouds, condensation, the change of gas to liquid to solid, and letting, uh, letting go the solid to liquid from the sky is precipitation. And it's a whole cycle that never changes. Start writing and take notes for a minute. Let's look at the stages of the water cycle. The first stage is evaporation. As we mentioned, it started from the ocean. The, the sun heat um, causes the water to evaporation to evaporate from seas, streams, rivers, and lakes. The water vapor rises to the air, turning into a liquid, clouds, droplets, and when the clouds get too much, but wait, as it turns from evaporate vapor to liquid and solid in the sky, it's within the process of what? Condensation. Higher up, where the, the air gets cooler and the evaporation condenses forming clouds. Now, the next step is when the clouds get really heavy and filled up or full and now it's time to let go of the rain. It starts doing the third, the third stage which is precipitation and the clouds is full enough to re release uh, droplets of water. Those rain goes down the, the, the mountain into the river, making rivers and streams, and the river and stream always wind up to the ocean, filling up all water bodies. We call that collection. Raining over lakes and run over fills up streams, rivers, and the sea. And then it repeats all over again starting the water cycle. 
now as you wrote the 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 the, the notes from the previous slides mama is telling you to start writing and taking notes you shall do that as your classwork or homework but yet for you to rewrite the first step which is evaporation what actually happens in evaporation we've mentioned as you take notes first step in evaporation the sun heats up the ocean and the ocean lets go of water vapor that is a process called evaporation the next step would be from the gas turns into clouds that's the process of what condensation the water for vapor condenses into clouds and it, it, it's in the process of condensation when the clouds get so full that they can't hold water anymore they, they start to let go release the the rain droplets that's called precipitation and when that rain comes down to earth in the mountains it causes rivers and streams to collect more water the fourth one is called collection as the oceans get full again the streams the lakes and every type of water body towards the fourth step is collection i hope you're writing now as your homework is redoing what we did together in class telling us the first step as you know we said it's what evaporation from let's just write that together i'm just gonna have a rough of it first step is evaporation from the oceans be sure to color in the second step well let's look at the homework once again you read during the water cycle diagram and you write the labels for each step and you describe each step next to the label so the first step is what evaporation excuse me learners mom does not have a pen unfortunately evaporation now after writing that label drawing what evaporation is the whole setup everything you are need to take notes what is it and what happens within evaporation once the evaporation happens which is water gas goes up to the sky because the sky is so cold it turns into liquid droplets and liquid droplets turn into ice and that ice is called clouds which is what you guessed it because you're so smart condensation remember guys you start drawing you put in the labels and you describe every process what happens in it as your homework you tell me what happened in the condensation it gets so full right it starts moving with the wind and then it drops the the rain the full the full cloud drops um rain it releases rain so what do you call that third step? Mam is not going to tell you because it's your homework. It's something that you're supposed to do. But just to put that out there, the third step, we all know it. 
precipitation, yes. And the water runs off. This step is called what? Collection. Oh, I was trying not to give you guys answers. Collection. So that's me giving you a rough of what I expect. I expect a drawing, I expect labels, I expect a description of what happens for each step in your homework. Now, in conclusion, what did we do today? We looked at the water cycle and ref refers to how water changes from one state to another. In a bigger state, in a bigger, in a bigger scale of a change in states, and how it takes place in the whole world. The water cycle has a process of evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection, and it repeats. The water vapor turns into um, clouds through condensation condensation and clouds melts into rain liquid and repeats so a good we have so much love for you my bright stars i hope you do well and goodbye from miss um, vega please don't be afraid of looking for more content in the youtube channel for miss and vega comment share and tell me what you want to see next time. Bye.